Hey everyone, today I want to show you the newest extrusion feature in DaVinci Resolve 18.6 Fusion that can help you to transform your 2D logo into 3D very easily. And first, we'll need SVG file of our logo, but if you have only a JPEG or PNG, don't worry, as there's a lot of free online tools that you can use to convert your logo. One of them is called SVG Trace, and I've just found it online, and it works very well. So we can simply bring our logo here. Then we'll actually only need a solid shape without all of these elements. So I will choose this dark blue color over here and then I'll hit convert. And our SVG file is ready to download. So now I can hit export and then download SVG file, but I've done it before. So we can move straight to the Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve. And then let's go to Fusion, Import, and SVG. And this is my SVG file. I'll hit Open. And my image size is correct here, so I can hit OK. And now my SVG file has landed in the node graph together with the media out node. So let's move it here. And actually, I can also disconnect these nodes now. And now when we double click on the SVG, we can see all of the components it's made of. So the path is our shape, and this is actually what we'll need for today. Then we have some background nodes and a merge node. But let's open the path one in the left viewer. And what we'll have to do is to copy this shape and paste it into another new node in DaVinci Resolve called S Polygon. So let's hit shift space and let's search for it. And now let's open it in the right viewer. And let's click on the path one again. And now let's simply highlight it. And now let's right click over here and let's go to path one polyline and then copy. And now let's click on the S polygon and then let's right click in the viewer and let's go to S Polygon 1 Polyline and then Paste. And when we zoom out, we can see that our shape has been copied over. It's just in the wrong position and it's too large, but we'll fix it later. So now we can actually get rid of that SVG file from here. And to be able to use the extrusion, we need another node called Extrude 3D. So let's grab it from the toolbox. And let's place it in the right viewer. And let's zoom in. And now our shape is in the 3D space. And also, make sure that you have the light mode on up here to be able to see better. And now in the Inspector tab, we can simply increase the extrusion depth. Like this. And then we can also increase the bevel depth and the width, so feel free to adjust it to your liking. And now, because we are working with 3D nodes, we'll also need a merge 3D node to be able to attach other effects to it, and then a renderer 3D, of course. And now we can connect it with the media out node, so let's place our media out node in the right viewer to see the final result. And our logo is still in the wrong position and it's not lit properly. So let's add directional light first and let's connect it with the merge node. Then let's place the merge node in the left viewer. And let's click on the renderer 3D. And now let's make sure that we have the lighting and the shadows enabled here. And then let's grab a camera 3D node. And let's also connect it with the merge 3D. And then in the viewer, we can manually adjust the position of the camera. So I'll place my shape somewhere in the middle. Like this. And now we need to apply our actual logo onto this shape. And I already have it in the media pool. So I'll grab it from there. And now let's also grab the image plane 3D node to place the 2D logo in the 3D environment. 
and let's connect it with the merge node as well. And let's place our merge node in the left viewer. And now we can see here our shape and our logo. So let's zoom in a bit to be able to see what we are doing. And our logo is in the wrong position, so we'll place it on top of the shape manually. Let's click on the image plane node then. And using these arrows, let's move it around. It can take a bit of time sometimes, so I'll speed up the video. Okay, and we still can't see the logo in the right viewer, and I think it's because the directional light is a bit too strong. So we have to move our logo around. So let's select the camera 3D node, and let's search for transform 3D. And now, here we can rotate our shape. And also, the logo is currently only on the one side of the shape. So let's duplicate it, and let's place it on the other side as well. And to get a second logo, we need to use the duplicate node. Let's select the image plane node then, and let's search for the duplicate 3D. And now we will only need two copies, so we don't have to change anything here. And we can move the second logo around using the Z offset slider. But for me, it's always easier to adjust it manually in the viewer. All right. And now we can see that it looks like it was black and white on the side. And this is because of the lighting position. So we can change it if we want to. Let's go back to the directional light then. Then let's go to transform. And we can change the light position over here. I'll maybe leave it like this. And let's go back to the transform node again. And let's animate the logo a bit. The possibilities are endless here, but I will just rotate it so you can see how it looks. So I'll move my cursor to the very first frame. Then I'll create a keyframe next to the Y position and I will choose how I want my logo to start. And then let's go to the very last frame and I will rotate my logo a few times. Okay, and let's see. And now you can, for example, go back to the edit tab and place any background behind it. I hope you like the video.